Hey AI art enthusiast, welcome back. So today in this video, we're going to talk about another model of Stable Diffusion, which is released by Stability AI, and that is Stable Swarm UI, all right? So we're going to go ahead and test out this AI model. I'm going to show you the complete downloading procedure of how you can go ahead and download that locally in your PC. And we're also going to go ahead and compare that with the most famous Stable Diffusion Axel Turbo. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. All right, so for downloading the new Stable Swarm UI locally in your PC, you need to go ahead and go to this uh, GitHub link and it will provide you basically all the repositories, all the requirements that you require in order to download that immediately. All right, so uh, right now I'm basically using uh, the Linux machine. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to installing on Linux and I can go ahead and simply open my terminal from here and the rest of the work I'm going to go ahead and be doing on the terminal. So for downloading uh, the stable SOM UI just need to go ahead and follow these instructions. So first of all it's saying install git python3 uh, via your OS package manager and when we so yeah it has basically provided me the command so I can simply go ahead and copy this come to my terminal and paste it right over here press enter and it will basically download all the necessities for me in order to run the stable SOM UI. Okay, so you guys can see it's done and now I can go ahead and run my second command which is basically uh, the GitHub link. Okay, so I can copy this, come to my terminal once again, paste it right over here, press enter. So it is basically downloading all the important requirements once again. Okay, so it's done. So now after that, I need to install linux.sh script over here. So I can copy this command, come back to my terminal, paste it right over here and press enter. Okay. All right. So it's done once again. All right. Now, so it's all done. I need to go ahead and simply launch uh, the linux.sh will basically open our stable swarm UI. So I need to copy this command, come back to my terminal and paste it right over here. Okay. Press enter. All right, and after that, this will basically direct you to Stable Swarm UI installer. And we have few steps on that. So you just need to go ahead and agree all of these steps one by one. All right, so you just need to click on just install, click next. All right, so I'm going to click on yes, I'm sure. Okay, so it's installing uh, the model for us. Uh, so you just need to go ahead and wait for it for a moment. All right, so now you guys can see it's basically processing, downloading our model is uh, enabling Comfy UI in that as well. So it's downloading model from Hugging Face, which is really, really good. So yeah, uh, just wait for it for a moment and it will be all done. All right, so everything is downloaded and it has directed us to the home page of Stable Swarm UI, all right? All right, guys, so here we go. Here we are in our Stable Swarm UI. So you guys can see this is basically the automatic 11.11 UI. First of all, we have the option of prompt right here. Then we also have the option of negative prompts. Then some of the core parameters, which include images, seed, steps, and CFG skill, right? So if you guys are following me on the previous Stable Diffusion video, so you guys should be familiar with these parameters. And we have variation seed. So you can vary seed in stable swarm UI. Uh, then we have the option of resolution, which is really, really good. And then uh, you can also adjust your aspect ratio here. Then we have sampling, init image, refiner, and all those important parameters. And then you guys can see this is basically a kind of a tab, right? So we're, uh, you can input your prompt right here, click on generate, and it will generate that for you. For example, let's just say I provided this prompt, a half body shot of a man playing guitar, DSR ultra quality, sharp focus, tag sharp, all those important details following our stable uh, diffusion prompt formula, right? So it provided me this image. So you guys would be wondering like this image doesn't look, we have lots of deformation right over here, right? But don't worry, uh, I'll fix that for you in a moment. All right, now let's talk about the cool part of stable Swarm UI is not only it provides you uh, the automatic 11.11 UI in your one installation, but it also provides you the comfy UI workflow as well. Like, take a look at this. Now you can get access to all of your comfy UI important parameters right over here. So let's just say if I go ahead and type in my prompt in the prompt box, which is going to be a closer shot of a woman's face, her eyes filled with determination, DSLR, quality, and everything like that. And I click on Q prompt, okay? 
So yeah, uh, you guys can clearly see the comfy UI is working absolutely fine. And now you guys might be concerned uh, with the quality. Don't worry. It's just that a stable swarm UI is using this stable diffusion XL 1.0 base model, which is really, really old, right? So don't worry. We're going to fix that. We're going to go ahead and install a new, very good, epic, realistic model in the stable swarm UI run that out and then see the output with that model okay and so for that just need to go ahead and go to this link right over here in civit ai so you can install epic realism model uh with this download button right over here and after installing that you need to go ahead and go to your file manager go to stable swarm ui from here uh go to models then stable diffusion and here uh would be that epic realism folder that you will drop here and use that model in your stable swarm ui okay now i'm gonna go ahead and do exactly the same drag and drop over here and then after that you need to come back to your stable swarm ui and over here right now you guys can see we don't see any model uh, but don't worry you just need to go ahead and click on this refresh button and now if you go ahead and look once again so we have the epic realism a uh, model in stable swarm ui okay so, so you just need to click on that so now it will be using our epic realism stable swarm model okay all right so we have everything set up so now let's just go ahead and start the testing of this new stable swarm ui all right okay so first of all uh, let's just say if i put this from the closer shot of a man's face deep in dot dslr ultra quality and everything and if i press on generate so you can see it has basically start working on my image and you guys can see right over here so this image uh doesn't look that good we have some issues of clarity and uh yeah and it obviously needs a bit of working in that okay so now is exactly where our negative prompt is gonna come to work okay so i'm gonna go ahead and use my universal a uh, negative prompt which i basically use in my every uh, stable diffusion model so i'm gonna go ahead and put Poor, uh, poorly rather face, poorly drawn face, poor facial details, and all those details that I don't want in my image. Okay, so now if I go ahead and generate this once again, so you guys can see clearly that my image has gone better, like very, very effectively, right? So now every detail is to the point. And still, now if you are a little bit concerned about the clarity on this image, so don't worry at all, because Stable Swarm. UI basically provides you the option to upscale in your UI, which is really, really amazing. So if I click on this upscale to X, so yeah, you guys can see it's working on my uh, upscale. So if I go ahead and take a look at the image once again, so now you guys can see, wow, this looks absolutely fantastic, right? So now we have an upscaled close-up shot of a man's face, deep in thought, DSLR ultra quality and everything. So yeah, uh, this image looks really, really fantastic, right? So I can go ahead and simply save this image without any problem right all right so now let's just go ahead and uh, do our next example for our human images so i'm gonna go ahead and say a closer shot of a man's face sitting by a campfire dslr ultra quality and everything in the prompt i'm gonna go ahead and click on generate so yeah this is my initial image which looks really really good but just uh, lacking a bit of clarity so don't worry at all i can simply press on upscale to x and yeah, wow. Now take a look at this image. This looks absolutely fantastic. And if I quickly go ahead and compare that with the Stable Diffusion Axel Turbo. So yeah, you guys can see the images uh, look really, really similar. Uh, the clarity is seen, the background, the portrait effect, everything is quite fantastic, right? But you can see the Stable Song basically works a lot well if you provide uh, the detail like close-up shot, for half body shot or something like that. So it provides basically to the point results for your problem, which is absolutely fantastic for a stable SOM UI, okay? All right, so now for the next example, I said a half body shot of a woman standing in front of a neon sign, DSLR ultra quality and all those details. And let's just go ahead and generate this now. So yeah, you guys can see uh, this image looks really, really good. So we have a half a body shot of a woman standing in front of a neon sign. Uh, so yeah, just lacking a bit of clarity. We can simply go ahead and upscale this image. All right, so this looks now absolutely perfect, right? So now, if I can go ahead and compare that with the Stable Diffusion Axle Turbo, so yeah, you guys can see the results are very, very good for both of these Stable Diffusion models. So if I being uh, straightforward, I really like the detail, the depth of the Stable SOM UI image, right? 
Okay, let's take one last example. So I'm going to say a portrait of a chef in his kitchen looking at a camera, DSR, ultra quality, sharp focus and everything. Let's just generate this image and see our results. Okay, so this is the output for that. This looks absolutely fantastic. And if I can go ahead and upscale this. So yeah, this is my final output. So we have a portrait of a chef in the kitchen. And if I quickly compare that with the Stable Diffusion Excel Turbo. So yeah, the results are quite fabulous for both of the images. So yeah, you guys can clearly see the new Stable Swarm UI is very, very easy to download. You can easily download that within minutes. So yeah, for a Stable Diffusion Excel Turbo, it requires basically a lot of work to do. But now with the new Stable Swarm UI, you can easily download that. Use all the models of Stable Diffusion Excel Turbo in this Stable Swarm. And yeah, get the most out of your AI generated images, right? So yeah, I hope you like this uh, quick tutorial or testing of the new Stable Swarm UI. I told you the whole downloading procedure, the testing, and also compared that uh, with the famous uh, Stable Diffusion Axle Turbo. So yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.